Hello. In this video, we're going to go through the grid world case study, create a custom bug. Specifically, I'm going to work through this question here, which is in the second part of our grid world case study. So we're going to create a, a class called circle bug that is identical to box bug. So there's going to be quite a bit of cutting and pasting of code here, um, except that the act method is going to, to call the term method once instead of twice. And then we want to ask ourselves, how is, it, how is the behavior different from a box bug? A couple key concepts we want to walk away from this video with are we want to make sure we know how to create a, a custom bug that extends the bug class. Now, that being said, this concept can be applied to a number of classes, so you could extend any class as long as you understand the principles here. Um, we also want to understand that custom bug will inherit the fields and the methods from the bug class. So therefore, they can be used, even if they're not written in our, our circle bug. Um, and then finally, we, we want you to understand that methods can be overwritten. That means that if there is a bug, sorry, if there's a method written in the superclass, you can redefine it in the subclass. And if we happen to invoke that method, um, the Java is going to call the method in, in that has been overridden before it calls the one from the superclass. Um, it is important to note that you actually can call the, the method in the superclass, but that's something to be explored a little later. And finally, when you're done this, one little extended idea is to create the circle bug, but have it extend box bug. This will create some interesting discussions around constructors. So let's do some programming. Um, so this is you know, a snapshot of part of our hierarchy. We have the actor class up here, um, and then rock, flower, and bug extend the actor class, and then box bug extends bug, and then we if we make a a custom bug that extends bug, in our case, a circle bug, it's going to sit right here in the hierarchy. So it's going to inherit all the fields and methods from bug, and it's going to inherit all the fields and methods from actor. Remember, uh, a subclass inherits fields and methods, but not constructors. It's a really important concept to kind of make sure you're familiar with. So let's do a little programming here. So I'm going to dive into here. There we go. And I have the circle bug here. And you've noticed I've already written extends bug. So that's the first thing we need to do. However, you'll see that Java doesn't recognize this right now. And the reason is because just like when we're using um, some classes when we're programming in Java, we have to import them, we have to import the bug class. So if we go to box bug here, see the import statement at the top here. We can copy this and go back to our circle bug and we can paste this in here. There we go. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to jump in here and I'm going to copy everything in box bug. So I'm going to copy this, and I'm going to go in here, and I'm going to paste it. Now you will get a couple errors. And let's see, let's address those. Um, the first problem you're getting right here is remember this is the constructor, and the constructor has to have the same name as the as the class. So if this class is called circle bug, this constructor has to be called circle bug. Um, so that's now fine. And remember, the only change that we wanted to make in this program is we wanted the, the turn method to be invoked once, not twice. Perfect. So now let's look up here. Looks pretty good. Let's go into our box bug runner. And down here, you'll notice that I've actually modified it, that instead of creating a box bug, I've created a circle bug. So same idea, circle bug Alice equals new circle bug. And the circle bug has, um, it passes six the constructor. And actually, let's make it four so it's a little smaller. Then we add them on the grid. So now we're going to run this. So we run it. Perfect. So if we step through this, well, unfortunately, it's a little hard for space, but there it goes. Um, so circle bug now it kind of it makes a, a circle as opposed to making um, as opposed to making um, a, a box. And let's, just to help us a little bit better to see this, let's X this out. And let's take out um, the box bug here. And let's make the circle bug three. Um, and let's comment out adding Bob there. So now let's run this again. So there's our circle bug. If we run this, it makes a nice circle. Perfect. Now, if you were really paying attention in the last shot, you would have noticed something funny. I'm going to show you a little 
trick here. Everyone wants to turn grid world into chess, so I'm going to show you maybe a first step into how you might do that. Um, take a look. There's my box bug. There's my circle bug. Notice the box bug has a different image. It looks different. And a lot of people, when they load box bug, they, they don't get this image. They actually get this image here. And the reason is because if you take a look here at my class, of my, at my, sorry, at my, pro, of my project, we have a box bug Im GIF here. People often forget to bring that in. So when we compile and build this, um, the computer will, will look for the image with this image file with the same name as the class. So, if, if this circle bug is really going to duplicate the behaviors of the box bug, and it's going to be the same in every way, I need to make an image file with the same name. So if I open this up here, and let's copy this, and let's paste it. I'm sure I can find paste here. Let's try this again. <laughs> copy, paste, there we go. Now let's rename this. And let's call this circle bug. Perfect. Now we'll minimize this again. If we have to come into here first, and we have to press F5, and there's our circle bug now. So now let's X this out and let's execute this. Now my circle bug truly has. Um, tr now my circle bug with my circle bug, everything truly is the same as the box bug with those with ex with the exception of that one modification. So let's do something fun just to wrap this video up. Um, let's X this out and let's open this up. And I have a paint here and you'll see I've taken my YouTube page and I have my image there. So I'm going to copy that image. Now I'm going to come into circle bug. Oh, I don't double click. I have to right click on it. I'm going to open with and I'm going to open it with paint. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to paste my image in there. Now it's a little big. Um, so let's just take this and we'll just shrink this just a little bit there. That should be a bit better size. We'll just shrink that up. And now let's save this. And let's close this. Let's press F5. I don't know if you have to refresh that, but let's do it anyways. Um, and let's run it. And there I am. I am now a circle bug. Anyways, I hope this video helped. Have a great day.